Hi, this is Wiley Sharp with Catamaran Central, and today I'm going to take you guys for a quick video walkthrough on board Go Big or Go Home. It's a 2018 Fountain Peugeot Sayona 47. Really nice boat. Uh, it was actually used in the Annapolis Boat Show back in 2018 when it was a new boat. Uh, I did a video walkthrough on it a couple of years ago when it first went into Crude Yacht Charter Service. Anyways, this video I shot about two weeks ago. Um, all in all, I think the boat is in excellent condition. The owners have done a phenomenal job keeping up on the maintenance as well as upgrading the boat over time. Um, really well equipped boat. You know, the things you'd expect like solar, generator, air conditioning, good electronics package, um, new soft goods in the exterior. Um, just a really, really nice boat. I'm going to have the full spec sheet in the description down below. Let's go ahead and jump aboard. Okay, we're going to start here on the starboard side of go big or go home. You'll see the hulls were just polished, so they're nice and shiny. We're going to use this starboard side aftermarket boarding steps to get aboard. And then we're going to make our way around the foredeck. First thing I'll point out as we come up is these aftermarket grab rails that were added here on the coach roof as well as another grab rail here, which is nice having more places to grab as you make your way forward. They replaced the factory installed cushions with these really, really thick um, closed cell foam cushions and made it a lot larger day bed. Um, that center cushion moves easily out of the way so you can access the anchor run there. Single piece trampoline, you can see through there though, it's got an oversized anchor. We've got a four peak over here on the port side, the dolphin seat, dolphin seat on starboard side, and then a four peak here, which is actually fitted out as a crew cabin. We're gonna make our way around the port weather deck. You'll see we've got some additional solar as well as the solar panels on the stern. Seating up top, which is also aftermarket cushions. And probably one of the nicest features is this aftermarket hard top, which is really a nice addition for a Sayona. It's a double spreader rig with a square top main, full Garmin electronics package. Oh, all the hatches, as you'll see, just like all the Santas, are flush mounted hatches moving forward. And uh, just like on the starboard side, we've got additional grab rails here on the port side. Down here in the port mechanical space, we've got one of the two upgraded Volvo motors. And here on the port side, we've got the house batteries as well as the Cruiser RO uh, water maker. And it's also got the uh, uh, simulated teak decking system here in the cockpit. But it's equipped with the hydraulic swim platform and a brand new Mercury motor, which was added uh, within the last year. You'll see all the cushions are in great shape. And uh, same thing, these are all, all much thicker than the factory cushions, making it a very, very comfortable boat. Storage beneath there, storage beneath here, storage beneath here, storage beneath here, and then the propane lockers over here. See the boat's got the Texeline covers all around the cockpit, which is great for uh, keeping it a little bit cool in the afternoon sun. So just like all the Fountain Peugeots, the engine controls are here on the outboard side, and you'll see these are nice, shiny new controls versus the standard plastic Volvo controls. And we've got a Garmin electronics package with radar and AIS. We've also got two powered winches here, making it a very, very easy boat to sail, single-handed or short-handed. Give you guys a quick pano here from the helm, and really, really good visibility. Um, you know, we did this charter last year on a Sayona 47, and it's really my first time where I got to spend an extended period of time on board a Sayona 47, and I found it a very fun boat to sail, and a uh, very, very easy boat to sail quickly, too. Making our way back into the cockpit, it's also worth pointing out that this table is a high-low table. Um, let's, go ahead and make, let's go ahead and make our way inside the boat. Okay, making our way here into the salon. First thing you'll see is we've got the drawer style isotherm refrigerators down low, dual basin sink, and then plenty of storage beneath the countertop, a uh, four burner Elba cooktop, as well as an oven with broiler, and plenty of storage up top. Um, one thing I like is a kitchen island as well, which kind of is a uh, design cue they borrowed from the uh, Saba 50, and it's just a really functional, usable galley. 
Over here at port four, we've got a uh, forward facing nav station with a VHF as well as a fusion radio. A nice large L-shaped settee over here on the starboard side with a coffee table with storage inside. I like this style coffee table. So let me just fix that cushion there. I like this style coffee table more than what they have on like the Helia um, because it does fit into that space nicer and uh, doesn't pose a uh, tripping hazard. Over here, starboard aft, we've got a freezer. Above that, we have a microwave pan, a microwave oven. And then the 120 volt panel is here in this compartment hidden away. Making our way down the starboard companion way. We're gonna check out the first of the three guest staterooms. So it's a semi walk around uh, berth with tons of natural light that comes in aft, as well as on the outboard side, a uh, window overhead. This boat, all the fans are the upgraded Helia style fans by Sirocco Marine, as well as this boat's equipped with the television in each of the staterooms. Separate shower stall forward, single basin sink with shelf storage, storage beneath the sink, and then storage up top. We've also got plenty of storage here on the inboard side. Making our way forward, we have a washer and dryer unit through here. Continuing starboard forward, we've got an athort ship semi walk around berth with natural light coming in from the space here. Um, and then a crew cabin all the way starboard forward. Um, this is a perfect example to show out the show off the accent lighting in the headboard. And it's just a very elegant, classy uh, feel to the boat. Same kind of head like we had there uh, starboard aft, very comparable in size. All of the heads on this boat are freshwater heads as well, too. So we're gonna make our way across the uh, salon here into the owner's stateroom. Uh, real quick though, on the way down, I'm gonna just point out the 12 volt panel, which is on the steps here, as well as the Victron inverter control and the Cummins Onan remote start and uh, display. So this is what I love most about the Sayona is this owner's stateroom. Uh, you know, like mentioned, we did a charter on one for a week and I was fortunate enough to stay in the owner's stateroom and uh, Laura and I found it incredibly comfortable. Thick memory style uh, memory foam mattress here, lots of natural light coming in from the outboard window as well as the aft window and the overhead hatch when you've got the blinds open. Storage here on the inboard side, nice large shelf, tons of storage along the inboard side throughout here. As well as lots of storage here on the outboard side one of the things i love about this um, owner's stateroom arrangement is you still have a workstation here which i do like when i'm out sailing having kind of kind of a, a desk to do work so it is nice having that but also having the storage i mean i love the fact that they did not do a large um sitting area down here because that is a little bit of a uh, waste of space huge hanging locker here on the outboard side and then the uh, owner's head here with a uh, single basin sink, tons of counter space with storage above behind the mirror here. The uh, toilet is in a, or the head I should say, is in a separate compartment forward. And then the shower stall here on the outboard side with tons of natural light coming into the space. So there you have it. That's Go Big or Go Home, a 2018 Fountain Peugeot Sayona 47 owner's version i'm gonna have the full details in the link down below or in the description down below with pricing and full spec sheet um, this boat's extremely well equipped so i know there's a few items i didn't touch on as we were going through the boat so if you are interested shoot me an email check out the spec sheet leave a comment down below and if you like what i have to say don't forget to hit the subscribe button thanks and have a good day